Good morning and welcome to 5 at 10. It is Friday morning for you, for those of you who the days are just kind of running together. It is Friday. Praise God and happy Friday to you. God bless you this morning. As always, know that we're praying for you. Thanks for tuning in this morning. I want to talk a little bit today about something I'm going to talk about um, next week as well. I want to talk about the armor of God, but I want to talk about one specific piece today. And I really want to encourage you. Um, are you standing today? As a Christian, we should be standing and not only standing, but standing strong and standing boldly in this very hour because we know that we have the victory in Christ. Amen. I call you blessed today and we do have the victory. So put a smile on that face. We win. Paul is in prison in Ephesians chapter six. Paul's in prison and he is looking at these Roman soldiers, these guards. And he's thinking about the armor that they wear. And he makes a spiritual analogy. And I want to read that to you in Ephesians 6. And I'm going to start in verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Listen, folks, we are in a spiritual battle. Yeah, we're in, a, we're in a carnal fleshly battle as well with this virus, but we are in a spiritual battle. We need to understand that. The battle has already been won in Christ. Understand, we're not battling a person, a governor, a president, a government. We are battling the enemy, the devil. That's who we're battling. That's who we need to set our sights on, and that's who we, can, we have already defeated in Christ, and we just need to walk in that victory. It says in verse 13, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day. And having done all, stand. My question today is, have we done all? Are we standing? Are we praying? Are we worshiping? Are we praising? Are we reading the word of God? Are we in the word of God? Are we declaring the word of God? Have we done all? If we've done all, then it's time to stand. We, the church, needs to be, need to be standing today and standing boldly. And who is the church? You and me. We, we are the church. And we need to be standing boldly today. Not declaring the latest, latest thing on social media, the latest thing on news. Um, not quoting the, the latest social media pro that's out there, giving their opinion and spewing their opinion. Do you know, this thing is ever-changing. Even the health professionals are having a hard time getting their hands wrapped around this thing and their head wrapped around what's happening. So when somebody's out there telling you that this is what's happening for sure, you better question. Not everything that you're hearing is true. But one thing I know remains true always. That is the word of God. So my question is, what are you standing on today? See, <clears throat> Ephesians 6, 14, in the first part of 14 says, Stand there for having girded your waist with truth. Now, Paul says again to stand. We're going to stand. We're going to put on the full armor of God and we're going to stand. <clears throat> All right, here's what the belt, the, the, the belt was a very, very important piece of equipment. It was the first thing that was put on and the belt held every other piece of equipment except the helmet in place. Every other piece of equipment was held in place by this belt. The belt of what? The belt of truth. And what do we know the truth is? We know the truth is what? The word of God. That is the truth. So everything else in our life needs to revolve around that being the absolute truth, the word of God. Now, here's the problem and here's the question. What truth are you standing on today? Is your truth social media? Is your truth uh, what the, the news is saying? Is your truth what the word uh, other people are saying? What your friends are saying? What your, you know, what's out there? What is your truth? It better be the truth. And the truth is the word of God. And see, if we, the word of God is our belt that everything else is connected to. That's very important. Your peace connected to the truth. Your boldness is connected to that truth of the word of God. What is your truth? 
it needs to be, should be, better be the word of God, amen? See, the truth of God's, the word belt, his belt, which is the word of God, holds everything together in our spiritual walk. Now, the, the soldiers, if they didn't have that belt tied tightly and everything um, connected to it, when they were moving and going up and down hills and falling and, and battling and doing all those things, if it wasn't in place properly and it wasn't tight and firm, then they could lose pieces of equipment or pieces of equipment would shift and it wouldn't be where they needed it to be when they needed it. And it could cost them their lives or great harm because they weren't able to get to what they needed to because that belt was not in place. Is your belt in place today? Are you standing on the word of God? Have you buckled up the belt of truth, which is the truth of God's word? The word of God is true. That's what you have to stand on today. And I just want to encourage you. If this is an hour. We can put on the full armor of God. We can put on that belt of truth, which is the word of God, which is true. And we can stand. And not only will we stand, we are going to prevail. The Bible says we have already won the victory. The battle is the Lord's and the victory is ours. What a deal. Amen. Listen, I call you blessed today. I pray that this helped you today. Stand on that truth. Throw on that belt. It'll keep everything else in place. We'll talk next week more about this full armor. It's battle gear, and we're in a battle, a battle that we've already won. Amen? I call you blessed today. Have a very, very blessed weekend. We will see you Monday morning, same time, same station, at 5 at 10. God bless you guys.